What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and your wait is over. The Verizon Galaxy Nexus is finally available. This LTE ice cream sandwich packing device has a lot of good stuff. You've read about it, you've seen the specs. Let's go ahead and go hands on and see if it's been worth the wait. So Verizon right now really has been the king of Android with some very, very top-notch Android phones. I'm looking at you, HTC Resound. I'm looking at you, Droid Razor. And now the Galaxy Nexus. So here is the box. It's going to come drenched in white with a little Verizon logo embossed there and not much else to see other than some package contents on the back. But of course, we'll talk about those. Let's go ahead and take off the sleeve. And we've got another white box. Uh, we've got the Verizon logo almost hidden there uh, up top and Galaxy Nexus down below, just as we had on that sleeve. Go ahead and pull this off. A little bit of cushioning on top. Galaxy Nexus right there. And here's the phone with fingerprints on it. Looks like the Verizon PR folks who sent this over manhandled it and had pizza fingers. Not a problem. We'll go ahead and pull that out. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and power it on once I see what else we have in the box. So at least I can show you something when we do our boot up and test. So I'll leave that there, you guys can watch it or you can watch this, what's coming out of the box. Go ahead and lift up this red tray, Verizon 4G LTE SIM card. Uh, so this is going to need a SIM card. It's gonna live there. Looks like the Verizon folks already popped that in for us. We've got a teeny tiny little wall charger for not charging your walls, but your phone. Master your device, Galaxy Nexus, consumer information about radio, product safety warranties, and all kinds of other stuff. Boot it up pretty fast, actually. We've got your syncing cable. That is, of course, micro USB. And we've got some earphones for listening to stuff. Music, maybe, even phone calls, because there is a built-in inline mic on these guys as well. So here are the earphones, uh, the same ones that we saw on the GSM Unlocked variant. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the phone itself, which, of course, just turned off because it knows I was going to talk about it. Uh, it's been shy. Uh, waiting for it to close. All right, here. so this guy is available now. Pricing, it's going to be just under $300 on a two-year contract or $650 if you don't want to sign your name on the dotted line. Although whenever you're watching this video, you might want to check prices because those certainly could have changed. Uh, it is running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. From a dimension standpoint, it's 5.3 inches by 2.67 inches by 0.37 um, thin. So it's a uh, Pretty thin bone. It's not chubby, it's not fat, just right for most people. Uh, it weighs 5.1 ounces. The display is 4.65 inches. Of course, that's always measured diagonally with a 720p resolution. Uh, so that means 1280 by 720, and it's an HD Super AMOLED Plus, which is just fancy Samsung marketing term for saying it's a pretty great screen. Uh, we've seen this on the unlocked version. You're gonna get really, really dark blacks. Colors are gonna be bright and vibrant, uh, and you should get pretty good visibility in direct sunlight. Uh, it's being powered by a 1,850 milliamp hour battery, um, and that's also got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor that's gonna be making this thing run, augmented with one gig of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. You're not gonna have any sort of micro um, SD storage options here. Camera on the back, you can see the Verizon logo to differentiate itself from its GSM cousin. Uh, that is a five megapixel uh, sensor with LED flash that can shoot 1080p recording. And on the front, we've got a 1.3 megapixel shooter uh, for all your front facing stuff and that can actually record at 720p. Uh, this is LTE. We can see that it's telling me I've got 4G up in that upper right hand corner. Uh, so there are some differences actually between the Verizon version and its GSM Unlocked Brethren. Um, so let me tell you what those differences are. Uh, first, the battery in the Verizon version is a little bit bigger. Uh, it's 1,850 milliamp hours as opposed to the 1,750 milliamp hours in the GSM version. Uh, this guy also packs a little bit more junk in its trunk. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. I'll go ahead and show you that here. Uh, so the thickness differences between the two, looking at 9.47 millimeters right here on the Verizon guy versus the 8.9 millimeters um, on the GSM. So that's 9.47 millimeters and 8.9 millimeters. It's also a little bit heavier. 
Um, so it's 5.1 ounces versus the 4.76 ounces. Uh, and of course, this guy's packing an LTE radio as opposed to the HSPA Plus uh, in this guy. So why is it heavier? Uh, well, an extra battery certainly is going to make it a bit heavier. Uh, but it's also got two radios in here. It's got an LTE radio for all that data that you love. And also has a CDMA radio for making your phone calls uh, on it. So that's why it looks a little bit uh, heftier. And you can feel it when you hold the two in your hands. Uh, you can definitely tell this guy is a little bit heavier. Um, so keep that in mind. Certainly nothing that would sway you from buying one way or another. Um, but just something to uh, keep in mind. So let's run through some of the highlights here of Ice Cream Sandwich. You've seen it covered. Um, but let's talk right about this Google right there. That is a folder, something that you can do now with Ice Cream Sandwich. Very easily, you can go ahead and make folders nice and natively. And you can move folders around. I'm going to close that folder up. You can move it even into this new dock that you've got here. So if you want to move one of these icons out, you can go ahead and do so. And you can move this folder right on in. Uh, one of the big changes, we don't have any physical buttons. Gone are the capacitive button days. And we've got virtual buttons right here. So you've got a back button for, if you don't know what a back button's for, you shouldn't be using a phone. You've got that home button for going home. And you've got an awesome multitasking button here. We don't have any recent apps. So let's go ahead and open something up so we have something at least recent. Let's go ahead and open up messages. And let's open up camera. And we'll talk about the camera in just a moment. And let's go home. Now we should at least have something in this tray. Uh, and if you want to close an application or get it off of this list, let's go ahead and give it a swipe. And you can do that. So hey, that's neat. Um, there's a lot of other changes, obviously, under the hood. We've got new fonts, uh, for example, uh, in Roboto. You've got some new speech to text on here. You've got the Google search that stays at the top. There's a lot of things to, uh, to like here. You've got a sort of a redesigned keyboard. You've got some speech to text functionality and a lot of other um, goodness uh, in here. So let's go ahead and check out Techno Buffalo real fast. And you can see what the keyboard looks like. Let's go ahead and run on over there. If I can do it on this angle, and O, B, there we go. Let it do a Google search for it, and we'll go from there. So this is running on LTE right now. I don't have Wi-Fi connected, um, but you can see how fast it is here in Southern California. Uh, and it is lightning fast. Uh, Verizon's LTE is really impressive. Um, so you can see what the site looks like. No, thank you. I don't want to help. Um, and pinch to zoom is all there for pinching. Uh, and zooming. Let's go ahead and see what the applications that we're going to have uh, and see if Verizon added anything uh, different. So, looks all pretty standard stuff here. There's my Verizon mobile, so there's some Verizon uh, add ons. We've got some Verizon video I added in there, Verizon backup assistance, uh, but not that much uh, carrier add on, so um, that's usually a positive for most folks. Um, also, new here in Ice Cream Sandwich are the widget tray. Uh, which now lives right next to apps, uh, similar to what we saw in Honeycomb. So you can pick a widget, let's pick bookmarks, drag it to where you want, go ahead and drag it over here, and smack it. And you can, of course, you can resize those uh, as well. Kind of neat. Let's move it up here and make it go down. And let's make it a little bit fatter. And that's where I like it. Um, so you, know, you can do that as well. All right, so some of the other new features. You've got some stuff in the camera that you can do. Lock screen, and go ahead and open up that camera right away. Supposedly, you've got almost zero shutter lag. So let's go ahead and snap a picture or something. And it snaps. It does snap it uh, very quickly. So this has been a first look. Uh, we've seen this phone uh, before, but never in its Verizon wireless garb of the Galaxy Nexus rocking some sweet LTE. Uh, and I do love LTE. Um, so again, this guy is available now. We'll have a full review coming up. We'll have some comparisons of it versus its GSM cousin. Uh, but if you're in the US and you want a carrier-supported um, and carrier-released uh, Galaxy Nexus device, uh, this is going to be your only choice. And right now, it's the only ice cream sandwich device out on the market. So if you love ice cold desserts, you love Android, uh, this is going to be a great choice for you to pick up. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Seriously? Fire alarm's going off? There's a fire alarm going off while I'm filming this video. I'm going to have to put this in the outtakes here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not.
All right, we'll finish this one up later.